Welcome back to Midday Live. Kweku Timi will join us later. And over 3,000 women in the three northern regions have received interest-free loans. The package is to boost the living conditions of the vulnerable, especially women in the region. Under the scheme titled 5 by 20, over 3,000 women in the three regions of the north received interest-free loans. The scheme is targeting a total of 5,000 women by the end of 2015. Apart from the training that we gave to most of these women, especially the school dropouts, some of us were able to set them up into various businesses. Of course, the common business was a retail business in our product line. So they were given a table with an umbrella on top and then we set you up also with an ice chest with some products so that the products serve as the seed money and then you grow with it because to empower a woman means you are recharging the world. At a forum in Accra, managers of the scheme and beneficiaries agreed getting more women onto the scheme was important to reducing poverty. The scheme will train women in managing their capital effectively for their business sustainability and growth. Motor insurance companies have agreed on an 800% increase in premiums for motor insurance, which takes effect from Tuesday, June 8. The increases, um, we understand a driver who pays, with the increases, a driver who pays 70 cities for premium a year will now have to pay over 400 cities for the same period. Insurance companies have agreed to sell motor insurance cover at a cost of one city's 30 pesos daily, making it the first time that car owners can purchase insurance on a short-term basis. This is a sharp deviation from the previous practice whereby vehicle owners were mandated to buy insurance on an annual basis. Now, according to the new policy, the annual premium for third-party insurance will now cost 474 cities for private cars which hitherto cost 70 cities, while that of commercial drivers, commercial taxis, has been priced at 576 cities per annum. Third-party premium for minibuses, commonly called the Trotsky or Trotro, has also been set at 586 cities, with motorcycles required to pay 256 cities for an insurance. Now, this is the first time in five years the motor insurance premium has been increased. Some insurance companies explained that the increment has been necessitated by the increases in fuel and utility tariffs, as well as the unstable macroeconomic environment that has seen the city collapse. And Kweku Temeng is um, a man on the beat. He has the very latest on this. What uh, culminated, they've already cited um, fuel and uh, utility tariffs and also the depreciation of the city as influencing the 800% increase, the first time they've increased in five years. So Kweku Temeng will be joining us uh, very, very shortly on that. And how the motoring public will receive the current um, uh, increases or changes within the insurance uh, 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 belts. And it's 800 cities. So if you pay 70 cities a year, you're now paying 474 cities for private cars. Uh, Trotros are paying 586 for annum. And you can also, the good news is you can do daily insurance. So you'll have no problems with the police because you can actually go and get it a day. It's one city's 30 pesos. And for those of you who are using motorcycles, keep in mind it's 256 cities for your insurance per annum. Kweku Timing is ready on standby. Now, it's the perception out there, and we are here trying to seek clarification. Of course, when we talk about TV3, we would always be the first to give you the information. This afternoon, the National Insurance Association, the Ghana Insurance Association, had the opportunity to clarify issues surrounding the third party and also comprehensive motor insurance policy just to give you even further details on reasons for the increases just as you mentioned in the studio this is Achu Menya 
Menyaovo, who is the CEO of the Ghana Insurance Association. Please come closer. Thank you very much for joining us. You're live on TV3. First of all, we would want to get updates. Now, the question I put across to you early on was, are you, are you insensitive to the Ghanaian motorists? Because around this time, a lot of difficulties for the motorists. Now, insurance comes in and slaps not just 10%, but quite an increased um, amount on, on, on the third-party policy. Should we just describe you as insensitive? Thank you very much for the opportunity. Definitely not. We are not insensitive to the Ghanaian uh, motorists. As I've indicated earlier the situation that our motor insurance portfolio is in it is very very critical that we salvage that uh, 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 portfolio and make it uh, relevant to, to to the motoring public and also to injured victims of motor motor as accident and as i also indicated we are all operating in the same uh, economic environment, whatever economic hardships that the 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 the, the third party motor insurance uh, policyholders are facing, we are also facing facing the same the same challenges that confront them, the same challenges conf challenges confront us, and for the claimants, the victims of road accident, their expectations are, are heightened because of these very economic challenges. Because in motor accident, what eventually happens is that the income earning capacity of the victims are critically affected by the injuries that they, they, they sustain. How do they live going forward after the accident? And the, 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 the least we can do is to adequately compensate them so that they can uh, uh, you know, readjust their lives and live you know, with the injuries that they are, some are maimed, some got their feet cut. Actually, I might not have all the time, but another question that we would want to clarify is, recently we heard about the flooding incident that led to the explosion at the Goa Fulling Station. Did this influence in any way the pricing mechanism or your, your activities to quickly launch onto the market and slap this fee on motorists? Not at all. This... Right, and uh, we'll definitely, unfortunately, you know, there was a break in our transmission there. But I'm sure a lot of drivers will want to know if the process has been made easier for them to process their insurance, especially when they hit their cars. And especially, you know, the third-party insurance, a lot of you don't have faith in it. Have they changed anything about it? We'll be giving you more on News 360 tonight. Join us. There's more coming up.